Hi guys, Kathy here. This is Kathy with Kathy's WW Journey. How's everybody doing today? I am bringing you... I haven't tried these before, so we're going to do this together. I'm calling them um, Breakfast Donut. Um, it's a savory donut. Because um, sometimes you just don't want that sweet one. Here's one that'll be right up your alley. Alrighty. Well, at least I hope so. <laughs> All right. First, you are going to do, I'm going to, let's get started. Your oven's going to be at 350, so get that going. Um, we are going to start off with, we need eight eggs, guys. And, yeah, I need to crack these <laughs> in a dish. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, I thought I had a little piece of shell in there, I didn't. I just don't trust myself. I mean, yeah, I usually can crack them pretty good, but <laughs> don't want any shells in there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and give these a little stir, a little beaten up. Let's break the yolks. Okay, one fourth cup of almond milk, unsweetened almond milk, guys. Like, if you're going to use any other ingredients, please put it in your recipe builder to check it out. Um, these are going to be on the purple and blue plan. It makes 12 donuts, and it's going to be uh, two points. On the green plan, is four points. So, okay. We got that going. All right, now you can use vegetable oil or olive oil. I'm using olive oil today. And it is one tablespoon. Just because I just prefer that fat over the other. So that's just me. Okay, so mixer, 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 mixer. Okay, you're going to need in here one cup of all-purpose flour. Okay, one-fourth cup of the dry cheese mix, which I get mine from my local um, GFS store. Um, but you can also get this on Amazon. I'm not sure if Walmart sells just the dry cheese mix. I'm not positive. Um, but one fourth. You can get it on Amazon. I can't, uh, I'm not an affiliate of Amazon anymore. I do promote their products. Um, they just told me that I can redo it. They'll open my store back up when um i have more subscribers i don't have enough so i didn't have enough traffic okay so you just want to mix this pretty good we're going to take imitation i got the it's a maple flavoring it's no alcohol we're just going to put a teaspoon in there okay And then I, this here I find at Walmart, it's maple bacon seasoning. This stuff is the bomb. I'm telling you right now, it is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, we are going to put in a tablespoon of this. This is really good like when you're making eggs, guys. Um, yeah, I'll show it to you one more time. It is excellent. And it's over by where the grilling stuff is because they got all that stuff out now. Okay. You're also going to need a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Any brand will do. Doesn't matter. 
okay? And a half a teaspoon of baking soda as well. Any brand of that too, it doesn't matter guys, it really doesn't. Okay, and two tablespoons of the real bacon bits. And that's all I have left in here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it in there. There. I do have a backup one. Okay. Uh. Okay, then you just gotta mix it all up so it's all nice. The flour's all broken up and everything. could probably do this with a mixer too, but probably would be better, but <laughs> uh. or maybe even a fork or a stronger whisk. Let me get a stronger whisk. This here one is a, a bit stronger one. Use this one. Yeah, because it's not all breaking up. Just put it in your mixer, guys. It'll work too. All right, just as soon as I get this done, I'll bring you back. Okay, guys, we're back. I've got out my, my big guns and got out my mixer. <laughs> Because it didn't, it wasn't breaking up the way I wanted it to. The little dry cheese in that wanted to stay clumped up. And we're not having that right there. No, 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 sir. Okay. So now you're going to need a half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. I just use the 2%. I don't use the full fat or the fat free. You can. Um, just put it in your recipe builder. It's a half a cup, guys. Okay, mix it up. Okay. Now we're ready to put in our donut things. Okay. Let's clean up a little bit. All right. In your donut pan spray it with a little Pam spray or whatever spray y'all use doesn't matter doesn't matter okay so go ahead and start filling these up it takes probably I'm gonna say four tablespoons in each one that's usually this looks like an awful lot I got here but we shall see. Okay. Well, it is making 12, so. All right, I'm going to finish filling these up, and I'll bring you right back, guys. All right, guys. These are going in the oven. I filled them up pretty full. All right, they're going in the oven for 12 minutes. I'll bring you back. Okay, guys. They're not done yet, but I wanted to come back on before I forget. <laughs> <laughs> I got these really cute from uh, Amazon, and I just have to share them. I told you I'm not an Amazon affiliate anymore because I need more subscribers. So, But I will again because I am an Amazon queen. All right, I found these. They are the coolest little thing. They're little containers, like if you're going camping or just whatever. I'm going to put some herbs in it and things. And... um. Yeah, I just thought they were so cute. But you get all different sizes. Aren't they neat? It's like if you're going on a picnic or something and you need a little something in there. You don't have to take the jars. I just think, and they're reusable. Um, yeah, I think they're pretty cool. Um, then there was this size. And this one is perfect for seasonings. I think that is just the coolest little thing. 
and I will, whenever I show you something I get from Amazon, I will give you the name of the product and you can find it um, on Amazon. It's called a 20 pack mason jar zipper bags for travel, camping, um, and all that good stuff. So, all right, oh, my dog is barking. I gotta go let her in. All right, guys, I'll bring you back with these donuts are ready. Okay, guys, we are back. All right. I just pulled them out. Look at them. Oh, they look yum. Okay. Well, now y'all got to come out of this pan. <laughs> oh, no. I guess I should have. I hope I sprayed. Didn't I spray? No, I know I did. <laughs> I just broke one. Well, guess what? That'll be the one I eat. Try. Okay. Make sure you, uh, Definitely <laughs> make sure you uh, do your pan. <laughs> I'm going to make some more, so I'll have to clean that. All right, look at these. Look how pretty. They look really nice. Really nice. Well, you know what? As they say, the taste is in the pudding, right? <laughs> and speaking, I do have to say, Girl, Kim over at a girl with her phone made a French yogurt um, and I and I made it yesterday to die for guys to die for the points are six points but they are totally awesome um, well worth six points that's all I'm gonna say to you guys it is delicious um, it doesn't need a thing in it. We made, uh, she made the vanilla one, and that's what I made. And now, I always make my Greek yogurt, okay? Just plain Greek yogurt. And I will continue to make Greek yogurt, yogurt because I make my tuna ingredient dough. I make ranch dips. I make all kinds of things with it. Sour cream. I thin it down. Um, you know, I'm still going to make my Greek yogurt, you know, period, for cheesecakes and things like that. So, but... If you're looking for once in a while, you know, I will make a batch of this stuff and it is phenomenal. So definitely go over, Kim. Excellent job. Totally awesome. Do it in your Instapot. You put it in little jars. They're ready to rock and roll. So <laughs> wonderful. Okay. So definitely check her website out to get that. Amazing. Just amazing. All right. Well, hopefully I've got this all cooled off. <laughs> so I'm going to try this. Oh, look at that. Look at the inside. Oh, yeah. They smell pretty good. Okay. First taste. Pretty good. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I would do though? Just because they're savory. Hang on, I'll show you. Okay, just for kicks and giggles, put a little queso sauce, cheese sauce on it. And it is two tablespoons for one point, so. I'm not even going to take that much. It's going to take a little bit. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's a winner. All right. Hope you guys try this. I, I think they're, you know, a really good size for two points. Um, really cool. You know, probably what I would do, too, is um, you get them in your pan, you save some of your cheese, the cheddar cheese, and just sprinkle a little bit on top for that little extra decoration. But um, they're pretty good. <laughs> I like them. Yay. All right, guys. That's all I got for you today. Um, I'll have a description down below, as always. These are... 
two points on the blue and purple. Yay. All right. And on the green, there are four points. All right, guys. I hope you give these a try. Please like, share, comment, please. I love all the comments. Good or bad. Doesn't matter. Uh, it's all good. Um, and definitely subscribe to my channel. I need some sub sub subscribers. Yay. And it's growing. Hey, it takes time. It takes time. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you real soon. Either in a shopping hall. Another cook with me. Which I've got more coming at your way. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye now.